Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the basic concepts of exponents and coefficients. So let's start with coefficients. Um, so I think we all know now that the coefficient is the number in front of the variable. So let's take the term 4x. We know that 4 is the coefficient and x is our variable. So I like to think of a coefficient as something that tells us how many of that type of term we have. So when I look at this, it's me really telling me that I have four x's. So we can rewrite a term with coefficients using addition. If I have four x's, I can rewrite this as x plus x plus x plus x. So here, all of my coefficients are one. I have one x, one x, one x, one x. Which, get, which gives me a total of four x's. So remember, you can always expand um, a term with a coefficient using addition, like this. Okay, so let's try three examples together really quick. We're going to expand these three terms using addition. So if I have 3a, that is just a plus a plus a. There are three a's. If I have four xy, so this one is a little bit trickier, my term, my group, is actually xy. This is the thing that I have four of. I have four of this little set. So how would I say that? xy plus xy plus xy plus xy. I have four, of, four sets of xy's. And then negative 2m. Um, we can just think of it as adding up negatives. So we can think of this as negative m plus negative m. So I have negative two m's. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and give these three a try. Okay, go ahead and check. So 5r we could rewrite as five r plus r plus r plus r plus r. Negative 3x we can write as negative x plus negative x plus negative x. And remember 2abc means I have two sets of abcs. So it's abc plus abc. Okay, so now we're going to talk about what's called an exponent. So the coefficient was the number in front of the variable. The exponent is the number above the variable or number. So you see exponents up here. So the x is still the variable. And the 3 is my exponent. So an exponent tells us how many times we've multiplied that variable or number by itself. So when I see an x with an exponent of 3, it actually means that I've done x times x times x. So notice exponents tell us that we've multiplied that term by itself. Now, variable or exponents have a very specific way that we read some of them. When your exponent is 2, we read it as the word squared. So we would read this as x squared. So it's important that we know that term so we can read it correctly. And when our exponent is 3, that also has a specific way to read it. We read that as x cubed. Now, anything above 3, we're really going to read them about the same. If our exponent is 4, we would say x to the 4th power. Or we could say x to the power of 4, and so on and so forth. So um, if our exponent is 5, we can read it as x to the 5th power, or x to the power of 5. So it's really only when our exponent is 2 or 3 that we read it in a specific way. And just to remind us, the exponent tells us how many times we have multiplied that number or variable by itself. Okay, so let's try expanding these three terms using uh, multiplication. 
x to the fourth power really just means, or sorry, y to the fourth power means y times y times y times y. So notice I've multiplied y four times by itself. Now let's expand out x squared y cubed. This just means x times x. I've multiplied x two times times y times y times y. Um, I've multiplied my y three times, and they're all being multiplied together. x times x times y times y times y. Now let's try this one. Notice this one has a coefficient and some variables and an exponent. Everything is just being multiplied. So we have negative 3 times a. Um, if you don't see an exponent um, above a number or variable, it's assumed that it's just 1, meaning it's just being multiplied one time. And then we have b to the fifth power, so b times b times b times b times b, and then c to the first power. So there you go. And remember, using parentheses is just another way to show multiplication other than using the dots. Okay, last three. Go ahead and pause the video and give these three a try. Okay, so check your work. Here we should have C multiplied three times. For part B, we should have a single X and then Y multiplied four times. And then for part C, negative seven times M times M times N times N times N times P. All right, that is all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching.